President Obama is fond of lecturing Israel's leaders. He's even caught, he was even caught by a microphone deriding them. The people of Israel deserve better than what they've received from the leader of the free world. That was Mitt Romney yesterday at the VFW slamming the president for his relations with Israel. The presidential candidate is headed to the Holy Land later this week as part of his overseas trip. Meanwhile, the Obama re-election team says the current president will visit Israel for the first time as soon as he is re-elected. Hmm? Joining us right now with his reaction is House Majority Leader Eric Cantor. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Steve. So Mitt Romney said his first trip as president would be to Israel. The president of the United States' people now say the president's first trip to Israel would be the minute he's reelected. What's going on there? Well, you know, first of all, I say it's about time on, on uh, the president's behalf, but really it's about three and a half years too late, just as Brian said earlier. Uh, you know, there's just been a real cloud, I think, put um, uh, out by the White House over the relationship that this president has with Israel. I think very much in contrast to the bipartisan relationship that Capitol Hill holds uh, for the U.S.-Israel relationship. Uh, but it's very clear that Mitt Romney uh, is going to Israel, to U.K., to Poland, to visit allies of ours who stand with us in times of challenge. Uh, and frankly, I think that uh, what, uh, what he'll see over there is and hear uh, are governments mm -hmm. that are very wary uh, of the direction of America's leadership. Sure. I mean, Steve, I, I've been there in the region lately. And I hear from Arab governments as well as the Israelis questioning where is America in terms of our leadership. Yeah, where, but where is our president? Why hasn't he visited? I mean, uh, they are, Israel is our closest ally in the Middle East. The, and the president, when you look at the, the Jewish vote, he, he's got some problems there compared to where he was about four years ago. Right now he's staying 4% uh, versus 74, so he slid about 10%. Uh, one other thing that uh, Mitt Romney accused uh, the president of yesterday at the VFW was he was fond of lecturing Israel's leaders. Well, there, there, in, there is no question that we have seen again repeatedly uh, that kind of uh, reaction from the White House towards uh, Israelis uh, and their government. Uh, and, you know, they don't need lecturing. I think what an ally like that needs is American leadership. And I know that Mitt Romney is going to take this trip abroad to listen, to learn, uh, and really, I think, to underscore uh, the American posture, which the best strategy for peace is through a secure and strong America that leads. Sure. Let's switch gears for just a second and, and take a look at our top talking point of this morning that we've been talking about, and that is that Senator Feinstein from California, uh, who heads up in the Senate the Intel Committee, on Monday, she said regarding these national security leaks, it, it looks to her like they're coming from the White House. That was Monday. Then on Tuesday, she walked it back and said, yeah, I shouldn't have been speculating. What happened? Uh, the RNC says she was Cory Bookered. What do you think? Well, you know, Senator Feinstein has always been a very upstanding uh, individual who has led on many issues on her state of California and in the intelligence arena. And uh, I think that she reacted uh, initially in the way that um, her abilities and capabilities saw. I mean, she saw some indication to think that there was some politicization of, uh, of information and things that the White House knew sure. for political gain. And, you know, there's certainly an issue raised there and a repeated pattern that we have seen, as you suggest, with Cory Booker and others, when the administration um, sees individuals that disagree with it and them, uh, they go very, very hard out at trying to beat folks back into submission so as not to have anyone out of line. And that speaks, I think, a lot to uh, sure. perhaps the lack of confidence uh, that exists there. Well, who knows? Uh, Eric Cantor, who is the House Majority Leader. Sir, thank you very much for joining us today. Steve, thanks. You bet. All right, next up on the rundown.